Tamil Alin the Great, the play opens uh, at Perso Palace and such questions are asked in the examination. P, where does the play Tamil Alin the Great open? Right, kaha par play Tamil Alin the Great open hota hai? Aisa question bhi in the examination mein pooch liya jata hai. To aap uski liye bhi tayyar rahenge. The play Tamil Alin the Great opens in Persepolis. Right, the play opens in Persepolis. Opening of the play is in Persepolis. The uh, in uh, Persepolis, the Persian emperor Mycetes. The Persian emperor is Mycetes is the Persian Emperor and Persepolis is in Persia, right? Persepolis is in Persia and the Persian Emperor Mycetes dispatches troops to dispose of Tamerlane, a Scythian shepherd and at that point a nomadic bandit. So when the play opens, we see that Scythian shepherd ek and he is a nomadic bandit. He is a Daku, he is a decoit and a troop of army has been sent by Mycetes, the king of Persepolis to dispose the shepherd of. Usko marne ke liye puri force bhej di gai ha, right bheji gai ha. In the same scene, Mycetes ka brother hota hai, his name is Koshiro. Koshiro is the brother of Mycetes. Mycetes ka bhai hota hai, he plots to overthrow Mycetes. Right? Koshiro, the brother of the emperor, wants to overthrow Mycetes. Usko overthrow karke, he wants to assume the throne. And then we see that the scene shifts to Scythia. Right? This place, Jahaka Tamalin hai, Mahapar scene shift hoti hai, or Yahapar juhe, Koshiro, Ajahapar hem dekti hai, ki Tamalin is shown wooing, capturing, and winning Genocrat, the heroine of the play. Genocrat was the daughter of Egyptian king and here we see that Tamerlane is wooing and capturing Genocrat. He is persuading Genocrat for marriage. Right? Confronted by Mycetes soldier, he persuades first the soldiers and then Kosoro. Right? He persuades first the soldiers and then Kosoro that Kosoro and Tamerlin would defeat Mycetes and then Tamerlin would make Kosoro the king of Persia and Kosoro agrees and Tamerlin and Kosoro defeats Mycetes. Mycetes is disposed of but instead of making Kosoro the king of Persia, Tamerlin declares himself the successor of king Mycetes. खुद वो किंग बन बैठता है और कोसरो जो है he was dejected right he takes personal control of the Persian empire and now the bandit has become a powerful man power has come to him because uh, through his mind only and through his muscle power right that's why he is said to be a bandit in the play right a powerful figure Tamerlane turns his attention to Bajajet, the emperor of Turks, right? Now he turns his attention to another emperor and his name is Bajajet. Bajajet is a 
तुर्किस एम्पर राइट ही टेंट्स हिज अटेंशन टू आन द किंग ही डिफीट्स बाजाजेथ एंड हिज ट्रिब्यूटरी किंग्स कैप्चरिंग द एम्पर एंड हिज वाइफ जनीबा राइट टैम्बलिन डिफीट्स द किंग बाजाजेथ द एम्पर बाजाजेथ अलॉन्ग विथ हिज फेलो किंग्स सबको हरा देता है और बाजाजेथ और उसकी वाइफ जनीबा को जो है कैप्चर कर लेता है वहां से ले आता है एंड द विक्टोरियस टेम्बल इन कीप्स द डिफीटेड रूलर इन अ केज एंड फीड्स हिम स्क्रैप फ्रॉम हिज फूड एंड दिस वाज अ वेरी ह्यूमिलेटिंग कंडीशन फॉर एन एम्पर एंड एम्परस जबीना बट दे हैव बीन दे हैव बीन कैप्चर्ड बाय टेम्बल इन सो दे डिडंट हैव टू से anything right once you are a war slave you don't have any right you lose all your rights they were fed on the scraps by tamburlin and once when they hear another victory of tamburlin they commit suicide right kaise suicide karte hain jo bazazeth hota hai he jo hai apna sir cage ke deewal par marta hai he dies and jabina follows the same जबीना भी यही करती है उसकी भी डेथ हो जाती है शी डज लाइक वाइज आफ्टर कंकरिंग अफ्रीका एंड नेमिंग हिमसेल्फ इम्पर ऑफ दैट कॉन्टिनेंट टेम्बल इन सेट इज आईज ऑन डेमेस्कस राइट आफ्टर अफ्रीका ही सेट्स हिज आईज ऑन डेमेस्कस एंड द किंग ऑफ डेमेस्कस जो है A target which places the Egyptian Sultan, his to-be father-in-law, directly in his path. Gino pleads. Gino cries. Jo hai, she pleads with her future husband to spare her father. He complies. Or instead of killing the emperor, uh, the father of Gino cries. He makes him his subsidiary king. Right? Because of Gino cries. फादर ऑफ जीनो क्रैट इज आज है सरवाइव्ड उसको बचा देता है उसको छोड़ देता है और जो है ही कंप्लाइज द प्ले एंड्स विद द वेडिंग ऑफ टेम्बल इन एंड जीनो क्रैट हु इज क्राउंड इम्प्रेस ऑफ परसिया यहां पर पार्ट वन ऑफ द प्ले क्लोजेज राइट पार्ट इन द पार्ट वन ऑफ द प्ले बी सी दैट टेम्बल इन वॉज मेयरली अड ही वॉज Offered by Kosoro to kill Mycetes, the combined army of Kosoro and Tamburlaine wins Persian Emperor Mycetes. And instead of giving Kosoro the throne, Tamburlaine himself becomes a powerful man, being the king of Mycetes. And then he attacks Bajazeth, the Turkish emperor, and he defeats the Turkish emperor and his subsidiary kings. And he captures Bajazeth and Geneva. and bajajith and janima were kept in a cage and they were fed on the scraps of food by a uh, tamburlin and uh, when they hear the vict another victory of tamburlin the great they commit suicide and after the uh, suicide a uh, scythian shepherd tamburlin wins africa and declares himself the captive the emperor of africa and then he targets the capital city of genocrats fado राइट right, वहां पे टारगेट करता है जिनो क्रैड प्लीट्स हर प्लीट्स हिम टू सेव हर फादर ही डज द सेम एंड द प्ले फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्ले एंड्स विद द मैरिज ऑफ जिनो क्रैट एंड टेम्बल इन राइट द प्ले टेम्बल इन द ग्रेट इज अ ट्रेजिडी इज नॉट अ कॉमेडी द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्ले एंड्स विद मैरिज मैरिज डजेंट ऑलवेज मीन कॉमेडी इट इज नॉट अ शेक्सपीरियन प्ले फॉर शेक्सपियर मैरिज मीन्स comedy as we see in hamlet the marriage of hamlet and ophelia never takes place right as we see in macbeth macbeth and lady macbeth are already married there is no marriage at all when we talk about othello 
In Othello, Desdemona is eloped and she becomes the wife of Othello, but there is no ceremony, there is no wedding scene in the play. Only we hear the news that she has been eloped. Right? Later she rejects uh, the news of elopement. She says that she has willingly followed Othello. Right? And in the play King Leo, we see that the two daughters of Leo are already married. And the third daughter, Cordelia, doesn't marry in the play. Instead, she is taken by the king of France. And what did she do in France? We don't know. Even Shakespeare doesn't tell us anything. Shakespeare, marriage takes place only in marriages in Shakespeare's play. And marriages are celebrated gleefully in Shakespearean romantic comedies. In tragedies, there is no marriage. But uh, in the beginning, when we talk about uh, Christopher Marlowe's play, Tumble in the Great, there is a marriage. Marriage of the protagonist Camel in the Great with Genocrat, the princess of uh, Egypt, the daughter of the king of Egypt. Right? The first part of the play ends here and then it starts the second part of the play. In part 2, Tamerlane grooms his sons to be conquerors in his wake. Right now, the part 2 of the play starts later. Right, Bahut Salobad, when his sons has be, have become soldiers. Right, Tab Shudu Hota hai. It means there is a gap, long gap between the two parts of the play, part one and part two. Right now, Tumble in the Great is grooming his son to be the conquerors of the world. Right, his oldest son, Caliphus. Caliphus is a peace-loving uh, prince, right? Oldest son here, he prefers to stay by his mother's side and not risk his death, incurs Tamerlane's wrath. Meanwhile, the son of Bajazeth Jeha, Calipin, escapes from Tamerlane's jail and gathers a group of tributary kings to his side, planning to avenge his father. Calipin and Tamerlane meet in a battle where Tamerlane is victorious but finding that Caliphus remained in his tent during the battle, Tamerlane kills him in anger. Right, Caliphus, the king, uh, the son of the king, was murdered by Tamerlane because he preferred to be remain or to be in tent rather than to be in the battlefield. And if the son of the emperor, if the son of the world conqueror is not a fighter, is not a brave person, is not a soldier. So, uska matlab hi kya hai? And Tamerlin the Great wipes his son out. Apni hi bete ko khatam kar deta hai. Right, Tamerlin kills him in anger. Tamerlin then forces the defeated kings to pull his chariot to his next battlefield. Right now, he has defeated the combined forces, a troops of kings, and now the kings are asked to pull the chariot of Tamerlin the Great. This is the humiliation, right? Uh, that is why Tamerlin is not an Indian king. Sir, so, Indian king aisa karta tha, beech mein, in the ancient times, some padhte hain, ki Puru ne puja, Puru Urva se puja tha, Puru she, kis ne? Puru she puja tha, Alexander ne, ki aap ke saath kaisa bhi hai kiya jaye, to us ne kaha tha, jaysay king ko king ke saath karna chahiye, there is nothing like that. He is a butcher, Tamerlane is a murderer, Tamerlane is a killer, Tamerlane has the killing spirit. He is a savage king, right? That's why he believes in massacre. He doesn't have uh, forgiveness in his mind. He doesn't have peace in his mind. His mind always runs or run karke kaha jata hai. He wants to conquer as many kings as possible. He wants to expand his empire as long as he could. And jab uska beta uske kaam ke liye nahi khada hota, then he even doesn't care of his own son. There is nothing like love between father and son. Our son might have love for his father, but father is very brutal. And in a fit of anger, he wipes him off. Apne bete ko hi maar deta hai, jo hai Caliphus ko hi khatam kar deta hai. Right? And then from there, he reached Babylon. Babylon, which holds out against him, Tamerlane displays further extra acts of extravagant savagery. And when 
the governor of uh, Babylon, he offers him money, he offers him wealth, uh, offer jab sab kuch kar deta hai, he doesn't consent, he doesn't accept anything, instead he hangs the governor, saying that, jab aap apne king ke nahi huye, to aap mere kya honge, right, you are not the true patriot, you are not following your own king with whom you are loving for, uh, living for so many years. And how could you be mine? Or is Leo's co hang kar deta hai, usko mar deta hai, right? Or uski baat kya bolta hai? He orders the inhabitants, men, women, and children to be bound and thrown into a nearby lake. This is the greatest act of savagery. Men, women, and children of Babylon should be thrown, should be killed, should be bound and thrown into a nearby lake. Sab ko wahan par fake dena hai. Lastly, Tamblin scornfully burns a copy of Quran, the scripture, the Muslim Islamic scripture, right? And claims to be greater than God. In the final act, he becomes ill but manages another victory, right? He bids his sons to conquer the world to conquer the remainder of the earth as he departs, right? Jabki wo khud chala jata hai, khud mar jata hai, apne sons ko keh ke gaya hai, ki you have to conquer the remaining earth. Remainder jo hai, aap usko complete karenge. Right? This is the most savage character and this is the most barbaric, most uncivilized a thing that he did in the play. Right? Jo wo pure play mein karta hai, or this was the first, aap keh lije, first full length and first play that uh, spread a uh, fire, right? That is fire across Elizabethan age, across England. And then Temple in the Great was followed by a number of writers. The language, the verse meter that Christopher Marlowe had used for the play was blank verse. Though the blank verse was already used by English poets and uh, dramatists, right? For the first tragedy, Garbajek, this blank verse was used and uh, another poet of the time, uh, not of the time, but uh, he died before uh, Queen Elizabeth came to the throne and he was Earl of Surrey. He had translated Virgil's Aeneid's two books, book number two and book number four in blank verse and that is the first example of blank verse used in England. Right? Blank verse was also brought from uh, Italy. Italy se gaya tha. And the lines that Mr. Christopher Marlowe used for his play, they are described as mighty lines. Right? Blank verse of Tamil in the Great is described as mighty lines by critics. Now, this is the question to you who described Christopher Marlowe's blank verse as mighty lines? Right? This is the question. This is your homework. You will find out the correct answer. Right? So, this was the play Tamil in the Great divided into two parts. Right? And this was the plot of the story. And now I come to another play, another great play by Christopher Marlowe. And that is the tragedy of Dr. Faustus. The tragedy of Dr. Faustus. Dr. Faustus was written between 1588 and 1592, but it was published in the Jacobian period. And we have two versions of the play, version A and version B. And uh, version A of the play is divided into 13 scenes. Christo, uh, Jeha, Tamil in the Great is divided into two parts. and the A version of Dr. Faustus is, uh, that was published in 1604, was divided in 13 scenes. 
and B text of Dr. Faustus is divided into 20 scenes. And the present play that we have today is divided into 5 acts. The fifth act being the shortest. And Dr. Faustus is generally a morality play. What is a morality play? I hope you remember what is a morality play when the characters are abstracts. Abstract characters tells moral virtues. That is a morality play, right? And uh, the story contains a message, right? Uh, likewise, there are characters like good angel, like bad angel, and they tell the uh, good angel tells the goodness, and bad angels does according to its name. Apne name ke hansar wo kaam karta hai. Right, this way, Dr. Faustus is supposedly the successor of morality play. Morality play ka hi wo successor hai. Right, Dr. Faustus is a fast myth. Fast myth is a German myth. Right, fast is a German legend. German legend. And in English, fast means favor. Favorite, right? Fast means favored, right? So, Fastus is a favored character. And Fastus is a doctor. Doctor of what? Fastus is a doctor of divinity. He is expert in divinity. He is expert in medical science. He is expert in logic. Right? Expert in divinity, expert in medical science, expert in logic. Right? He is a man who is expert in several arts. Kai sari chijo me wo jeh expert hai aur uska naam hai Dr. Fastus. Right? Ab agar ye paper me question aata hai ki Dr. Fastus kiska doctor hai? So Dr. Fastus is the doctor of divinity. Right, mainly up here, Uttar Lagayenge, Dr. Fast is the doctor of divinity. Or jab ye question aega, right, ki how many subjects are mentioned there? Kitne subjects maha par mentioned hai, kis kis ki baat hai? To logic, divinity, uh, medical science and law. These four subjects are mentioned in the play and he is against the purposes, against the benefits of all these sciences, right? Logic, divinity, medical science and law, in sab ke against hai, and he wants to be an expert in necromancy. He wants to learn and be master of magic. Jadugar usko banna hai, aur us jadugar ke chakkar mein, he destroys his entire life. Sab kuch tabah kar leta hai. And even he sells his soul to the devils. Us apni soul ko bhi devil ko bech deta hai. And the bond is written from the blood of Dr. Faustus. Uske blood se hi bond likha jata hai. Right? There is a prologue in the play Dr. Faustus. And in the prologue, chorus appears. Chorus generally appears in the Greek plays. But here in Dr. Faustus, there is introduction of chorus. Chorus comes to the stage and they narrate the story. Right? Chorus introduces the story. He is described as being base of stock by chorus. Right? Chorus describes him base of stock. Chorus usko base of stock describe karte hai. However, his intelligence and scholarship eventually earns him the degree of doctor and from the University of Wittenberg. Right? Ye bhi ek question hai. Ki kis university se wo padha hai? To the answer is, he is a doctorate from the University of Wittenberg. University of Wittenberg is in Germany. और ये वही यूनिवर्सिटी है जहां से मार्टिन लूथर पढ़ा है 
और ये वही यूनिवर्सिटी है जहां से शेक्सपियर का हेमलिट पढ़ा है राइट मींस द यूनिवर्सिटी इज वेरी मच प्रेस्टिजियस एंड ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ फिक्शनल कैरेक्टर्स जो हैं इवन वो भी वहीं से पढ़ करके आते हैं यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ विटेनबर्ग से राइट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ विटेनबर्ग से पढ़ा है ड्यूरिंग दिस ओपनिंग द रीडर आल्सो गेट्स अ फर्स्ट क्लू टू द सोर्स ऑफ फास्टस इज डाउनफॉल फास्टस की जो स्टोरी है it is aaj uh, hai like icarus who flew too close to the sun and fell to his death when the sun melted his waxen wings jaise hamare yahan ek jatayu ki myth hai aur kaha jata hai ki jatayu wanted to reach the sun or in the process he went high and high and when he came closer to the sun the wings of jatayu were burned, burned. puri tarike se jal gayi thi same is the myth of icarus Icarus also wanted to reach uh, the sun. वो भी वहां पर जाता है बट वेन ही रीच इज क्लोज टू दिन फेल टू हिज डेथ वैन द सन मेल्टेड हिज वैक्सन बिंग्स दिस इज अंट टू फास्ट एंड एज वेल एज ब्रिंगिंग टू द रीडर्स अटेंशन टू द आइडिया ऑफ ह्यूब्रेस विच इज प्रेजेंटेड इन दस स्टोरी एंड अल्टीमेटली फास्ट स्टोरी right because of his excessive pride because of hubris hubris the tragedy occurs for icarus for jatayu and for dr fastus right the main reason of the tragedy is the character himself nobody else aur yahi aristotelian philosophy bhi hai ki hero suffers because of his own hamarsia not because of uh, his weakness hamarsia hubris ki wajah se tragedy hoti hai and so is the case here right Fastus comments that he has mastered every subject that he has studied. I am not a master of every subject that I have studied. We studied six subjects in high school. We studied five subjects in uh, uh, ten plus two. Then three subjects in graduation. Then one in uh, post graduation. And even I don't remember any subject at all. I even forgot uh, the text that I read during my masters and graduation. but dr fastus was a, such a huge uh, personality that he remembered all the subjects that he mastered but all is in vain koi matlab nahi hai uske liye sab kuch uska jo hai bekar hai he depreciates logic as merely being a tool for arguing he has mastered logic and why does anybody learn or should learn logic kyun koi padhe logic to iska reason ye hai ki logic makes you argumentative right it gives you argument and dr fastus rejects the subject logic saying that the whole purpose jo hai iska it is merely a tool for arguing it is merely a tool for argument nothing else medical science ko batata hai ki ye bhi puri tarike se bekar hai since it cannot save anybody's life it cannot give immortality and uh, if uh, medical science fails to give immortality if it cannot save lives then what is the use of medical science it is very much limited isliye wo bhi bekar hai he rejects law law ko reject karte hue kehta hai ki it is merely the profession of mercenary aise log jinko sirf paise chahiye unke liye law to theek hai law as being mercenary and uh, he is not a mercenary so it is beneath him और फिर वो डिविनिटी को बताता है कि इट इज यूजलेस बिकॉज ही फील्स दैट ऑल ह्यूमंस कमिट सिंस सब लोग सिन ही करते हैं सब लोग पाप ही करते हैं और जब सबको पाप ही करना है तो डिविनिटी का मतलब ही क्या है ये सारे सब्जेक्ट्स बेकार हैं और बेकार साबित करता है रिजेक्ट करता है डिस्कार्ड करता है दूज द बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑल द साइंस दैट ही हेज लर्न बिकॉज ही हैज शिफ्टेड हिज मूड he has changed his mood from divinity from medical science from logic from law to something else he wants to achieve more power he wants to travel throughout the world or wo kaise possible hai he wants to have the kiss of immortal helen or that is not possible through logic through divinity through law or through medical science isliye he wants to have super power aur super power ke liye jo hai he wants to learn necromancy राइट वॉट डॉक्टर इन कॉल यू दिस कॉसेरा सेरा बोलता है जो होना है वो हो करके रहेगा हम क्या पढ़े लिखे सब बेकार है 
कोई मतलब नहीं है रूस और यूक्रेन का वार होना है तो होना है सारे शांति समझौते बेकार हैं सारी पीस लविंग चीजें बेकार हैं काम की तो सीधे परमाणु बम है अचम बम है राइट तो सब कुछ रिजेक्ट करता है वो और फिर ही इंस्ट्रक्ट हिज सर्वेंट वैग्नो उसका एक सर्वेंट है जिसका नाम है वैग्नर उसको बोलता है दो लोगों को बुलाने के लिए जस्ट लेट मी वाइप राइट वैग्नर इज सर्वेंट टू डॉक्टर फास्टस डॉक्टर फास्टस का सर्वेंट है और अपने सर्वेंट को बुलाता है और कहता है जाओ वाल्डिव ऑन कॉरिनिलियस को बुला के लाओ वी ए एल डी ई एस वाल्डिज ऑन कॉरिनलस राइट सी ओ आर एन ई एल आई यू एस राइट वाल्डिज ऑन कॉरिनल को बुला करके लाओ वाल्डिज जो है ही इज अ फेमस विच क्राफ्ट इज अ विच क्राफ्टेड एंड द सेकेंड वन इज अ मैजिशियन एंड देन वी सी दैट टू एंजल्स गुड एंजल्स गुड एंजल एंड बैड एंजल अपियर ऑन द स्टेज गुड एंजल एंड बैड एंजल अपियर ऑन द स्टेज राइट they dispense their own perspectives of his interests in magic and necromancy the faster seems momentarily dissuaded he is apparently won over by the bad angel and always bad things prevail aur yahan par jo hai bad angels prevail kar jata hai earlier we see that faster is dissuaded all right uh, by the efforts of good angel but later we realize that bad angel overpowers good angel right he is apparently won over by the bad angel proclaiming how am i glutted with conceit of this valdis and cornelius declare that if fastus devotes himself to magic he can achieve whatever he wants to achieve aur aisa kyon kar sakta hai because he is such an intelligent person nothing is out of his access nothing is out of his reach he can achieve whatever he wants right valdis and cornelius usko aisa bata dete hain fastus ki jo absence hai from the class it is noted by two scholars who are less accomplished than fastus himself they request the wagner to reveal fastus's location but initially wagner doesn't reveal the truth but when he is provoked बोस्ट्स राइट right? और उस बोस्टिंग में वो बता देता है कि वो कहां पर है दिस टू स्कॉलर्स वरी अबाउट फास्ट बींग करप्टेड बाय द आर्ट ऑफ मैजिक लीव टू इनफॉर्म टू द रेक्टर ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी राइट रेक्टर ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी बाय चांसलर जिसको आप कहते हो उसको इनफॉर्म कर दिया जाता है और उसी रात को फास्ट बिगिन टू अटेम टू समन जेबिल जेबिल को बुलाता है और जेबिल में जो है सबसे पहले लूसीफर आता है लूसीफर राइट लूसीफर आता है लूसीफर और अदर डेबिल्स पहले ही अजय सीन में आ जाते हैं आफ्टर ही क्रिएट्स अ मैजिक सर्कल एंड स्पीक्स ऑन इनकेंटेशन एंड थ्रू दैट इनकेंटेशन ही रिजेक्ट हिज बैपिटिज्म He was baptized as he was Christian, और वो एक श्लोक पढ़ता है इनकेशन पढ़ता है जिससे अपना बैपिटाइजेशन को रिवोक कर देता है खत्म कर देता है और जब वो ऐसा काम करता है तो डेबिल्स को लगता है नाउ दे टाइम हैज कम उन आज का भी टाइम जो है आ चुका है टू सॉरी देन क्या होता कि डेमन नेम्ड मेफिस्टो फ्लिस अपियर्स बिफोर हिम But Faustus is unable to tolerate the hideous look of the demon and commands the demon to change 
इट्स अपियरेंस मेफिस्टोफिलीज आता है His uh, appearance is very much hideous, very much ugly. He is not tolerable. And uh, then Mephistopheles was commanded by Doctor Faustus to change his guise, to change his face. Or Doctor Faustus के कहने पर वो अपने आप को change भी कर लेता है. Then Doctor Faustus thinks that necromancy is working. He is succeeding in his business. सफल होता हुआ उसको दिखाई देता है. He takes pride in his skill. He tries to bind the demon to his service, but is unable to because Mephistopheles already serves Lucifer, the prince of devils. पहले उसके सर्व करता है और बाद में Mephistopheles बताता है he has not come here through the incantation of Doctor Faustus, but he has come here as he knew that Faustus has rejected, he has uh, discarded the scriptures. और जब भी आप स्क्रिप्चर्स को डिस्कार्ड करोगे तो ही एक डेविल आता है और इसलिए जो है मेफिस्टोफ्लीस यहां पर अपीयर करता है राइट मेफिस्टोफ्लीस आल्सो रिवील्स दैट इट वाज नॉट फास्टस इज पावर दैट समन हिम टू बट रादर हिज एब्जुरेशन ऑफ स्क्रिप्चर्स दैट रिजल्ट्स इन द डेविल कमिंग इन द होप ऑफ क्लेमिंग फास्टस इज सोल मेफिस्टोफ्लीस इंट्रोड्यूसेस द हिस्ट्री ऑफ लुसिफर एंड द अदर डेविल्स while indirectly telling fastus that hell has no circumference nor limit and is more of a state of mind than as a physical location jisko baad mein milton ne describe kiya hai the mind has its own place it can make heaven hell and hell heaven that uh, so is described by amethyst uh, please ki there is no place like hell it is a merely state of mind but uh, the fact is that uh, hell doesn't have any limitation you can do whatever you want to do right there is no limit there is no circumference of hell hell ki to koi boundary hi nahi hai aisa usko bataya jata hai aur fir kya hota hai pact with lucifer using mephisto please as a messenger fastus strikes a deal with lucifer he is to be allotted 24 years of life on earth during which he will have mephistopheles as his personal servant and the ability to use magic or he was given the magic but instead of doing anything great he always kya kiya isne very trivial things he has tortured a few people he has tortured pope and others and he has wasted his super power he has wasted his skills और जिसके पास ये सुपर पावर होती है वही डॉक्टर फास्टस हो जाता है राइट ही जर्नीज रोम रोम जाता है अक्वायर्स इनविजिबिलिटी मैजिक ऐसा है इनविजिबल बना देता है एंड बैफल्स द पोप बाय स्पीकिंग एंड स्नैचिंग फूड खाना चुराता है खाना छीनता है ही विजिट्स जर्मन इंपर चार्ल्स फिफ्थ उसके यहां पर जाता है एंड एट हिज रिक्वेस्ट कंजेस Alexander the Great and his paramour. Or the week night, who se jagda kar leta hai. A night hackles him, so he gives him a cold horn. Horn laga deta hai. Or at the request of King Charles, usko hata bhi deta hai. So uh, he is engaged in trivial things. He is wasting his skills. Right? He sets uh, off on foot for Wittenberg and then he does a lot of work. एक अपना हॉर्स बेच देता है थोड़ी देर में हॉर्स इनविजिबल हो जाता है और जब वो रिटर्न होता है अपना पैसा मांगने के लिए तो उससे कहता है फोर्टी डॉलर में दिया था फोर्टी डॉलर और दो मुझे नहीं तो अब आपको टॉर्चर करूंगा इसी सब में अपनी जिंदगी बिता देता है और हम देखते हैं कि एट द एंड ऑफ द प्ले क्या होता है ऑन द इलेवेंथ आवर मे फिस्टो प्लीज कम्स टू कलेक्ट फास्टस इज सोल एंड फास्टस इज ड्रैग्ड ऑफ दिस टेज टू हेल्प बाई मे फिस्टो प्लीज and other devils even though dr fastus tries to repent and beg for mercy from those devils aur hum jo dusra text hai text jisko humne b text kaha hai hum us text mein dekhte hain ki there is a subsequent scene where the three scholars discovered his remains strewn about this stage they stated that fastus was damned one scholar declaring that the devils have torn him asunder but they determined because of fastus's learning to have him properly buried and mourned fastus says himself in the text a what art thou fastus but a man condemned to die 
right here faster dies but before his death he requests the devil to uh, for the immortal kiss of helen and helen was presented and he loves helen and then his soul was snatched there are two texts in text a he was taken physically by the devils and mephistopheles and in text b we see that the remains of dr fastus was there and remains were founded uh, were found by three scholars and uh, on uh, the ground that fastus was a learned man he was an intelligent man so he must be buried and he must be mourned aur isliye usko wahan par chhod diya jata hai and the play ends here in the play uh, dr uh, ja christopher marlow has used prose as well as uh, verse form right for the comic scene marlow has used uh, prose and for uh, the tragic scene for other scenes he has used plank verse extensively right so thank you so much uh, in today's class we discussed his two plays dr fastus and christopher marlow and in the next class i will talk about another play that is the jew of malta right thank you so much good luck all the best